హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ టు టెక్ యూ ఛానల్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ యాప్ ఎం ట్రైనింగ్ సెషన్ లైక్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ హౌ టు లొకేట్ ద ఎలమెంట్ ఆఫ్ మొబైల్ అప్లికేషన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ఫైండ్ వేర్ యూ హ్యావ్ డౌన్లోడెడ్ యువర్ ఎస్డికే సో వన్స్ యూ ఫౌండ్ గో టు ద టూల్స్ ఆఫ్ దట్ దర్ యూ కెన్ సీ యూఐ ఆటోమేటర్ వ్యూవర్ జస్ట్ ఓపెన్ ద యూఐ ఆటోమేటర్ వ్యూవర్ యూ కెన్ సీ స్క్రీన్ లైక్ దిస్ హియర్ ఈస్ మై డివైస్ ఐ హ్యావ్ కనెక్టెడ్ మై డివైస్ విత్ వైజ్ ఆర్ టూల్ సో దట్ i can show you the device screen as well in the screen it's not emulator actually it's real device okay so there is a cylindroid test app here so I, i'm going to use this app in my last video i have given the link for this apk also so you guys also can use it so just open it and here i need to take this uh, view into ui automator for that i need to click on second icon it will take the mobile screen view into here okay yeah we got it just maximize it so for finding uh, this input box i have to click on this so here i can see id and the content description test app edit text so if you want to take id i can take this one so if for example if i want to find id for this button just move and click on this so see button test so everything you can copy this you can copy and paste it so in script for example we have created some script now so here you can change id or a, a name something you can use it so if you are using a name for example name so you have to you can take it from uh, content description for example from content description you can use it as a name button test cd okay the same way you can find a properties for each one so there are some cases you have to use the particular uh, what we call uh, boundaries so x and y value so if you want to click somewhere here so so i can see you can see the boundary value is also the center of the here you can see actually so when i move the cursor here you can see the x y value so it's moving 326 10 12 331 1108 so that also fine so if you want to go to another screen uh, i will click on this uh, button and let's see what will happen i will click on this okay but here it won't update after click on so what i did i can show you on visor so i have to click on this it will go to new screen just hide keyboard and just refresh so once you refresh you can get the new screen okay you, here you can get the locator for username see you can get the username and uh, password sorry email password so everything we have actually input name so finally accept input at so uh, using this if you don't have id you can create a xpath also see we have a hierarchy so id is equal to content slash scroll view slash linear layout then you will get the text of this text actually see for this you don't have id right so you can get a x path okay so this is how we have we can find the element from the uh, ui automator viewer and uh, there are other two ways of it so one thing is from apm inspector so only from only in the mac uh, you can work with apm inspector and uh, there is one more tool called uh, what it is makaka inspector makaka inspector if you search you will you will get it to this page yeah you will get it to this page for this you should have installed node js so once you start the server see let's see the apm so how can you get it as well later so there is a search icon once you click it will tell you to add your all the properties so for example i have added something like i have to add a device id everything like i can change here so click on edit 4.4.2 something like that so i can add it then uh, i can start the session so this is one way and uh, another is like that is second way ui like apm inspector first one is ui automator then third way to look at the element of mobile application is apm inspector plus sorry makaka inspector 
so npm i app inspector minus g this is how you have to uh, run the command so so if you want detailed how to use and how to install we can see it in next session or some other videos so there are three ways you can form the elements i think guys you guys have understood how to find the element for mobile application it's not big deal so there are some application you cannot get any id or any locator so for that kind of element you should ask the developer to uh, like make it visible of the id so for security purpose or uh, like some unwanted actions they would have id everything from the release build so this also can happen so you guys can ask the developer to enable the id for that okay guys if you face any issue with the ui automator you can uh, put into comments anyway i will do some separate video for this uh, apm inspector as well as makaka inspector so for that you don't worry you can try it if you face any issue let me know i will i'm here to help you thanks for watching please subscribe the videos and channel for more videos thank you